what's going on guys welcome back to this video today we're going to change the tone a bit and we're going to resume working on over the wire um, so the challenge that we have attempted the last time it was level 11 to level 12 and today we're going to do level 12 to level 13 reminding you guys that the last challenge was about file upload vulnerability and how to bypass it we bypassed the file upload vulnerability presented at the challenge 11 by just changing the extension during the upload process now in this video or in this level the code got a bit smarter and now it is kind of checking on the extension so this is the same code and as you can see here after the file is uploaded there are two checks the first check is done on the file size and the other check is done on the extension how using the exif underscore image type function in php this function checks on the extension of the file and it also checks on the magic number uh, sorry not the magic number it's the extension sorry i'm just because there are many methods to bypassing file upload vulnerabilities and sometimes you just um, mix them so exif image type is the hurdle of this code so you got uh, somehow to bypass this so if you go back to my node file on OWASP and uh, we check the upload vulnerabilities uh, if you have if you are subscribed to the channel membership tier 3 you will be able to follow with me uh, with the notes so here one of the methods is to change the extension now the other method is to change the content type and here we have changing the magic number changing the magic number method works perfectly in this scenario because of the nature of the code here exceed image type just checks on the extension so all we have to do is to change the magic number so given that the application accepts image files we're gonna have to change the magic number into uh, one that corresponds or indicates uh, that the file is image how to do that so we go to this repo you can just google it you can find them this is the URL here it contains the magic numbers for all sorts of files so you have two options we can check this this is in ASCII digits and this is in hex format we have also PNG yeah so what we need either PNG or yeah we can, also we have got GPG here so PNG GPG or GIF so what I did you can grab any one of them will make the file image you go here so let's take a look at the file that I created so cat test so I just appended this to the beginning of the file if I use the file command to test the file the command line or the output will tell me that this is a GIF image data going back here checking the GIF this is the GIF format this is the magic number in hex and this is the uh, magic number in ASCII digits so just append this here okay yeah it's 8 here you can use this one or you can use 87a so I'm going to 87a because in my note file it is 87a this is GIF let's check GIF it is not here anyway so you can use this one now after doing that you can test if the application accepts your image so you can go back here and here we can try to upload the file now most definitely most definitely guys the file will be uploaded now your your challenge here is to append a one-liner uh, PHP that will enable you to execute system commands this one-liner here I added it to the file and 
Despite the PHP tags, I still get the output that the file is an image file. So is this all everything? No, because if you go down and upload the file, take a look at this. Upload. The file has been uploaded successfully. That's fine, but look, the image, or sorry, the name has changed and the image has been changed back to uh, JPG. So we have to somehow get around this. We did that by intercepting um, the, what was it? The request. So let's do that. Let's upload the file. Let's use a different name for the file. We don't want any uh, problems for the naming. Oh, actually, you don't need to rename the file because the name is created randomly based on the code. So look at the code here. As you can see, random string uh, is assigned to the file name using these characters. So no need to rename uh, the file or your shell if you are uploading it over and over again. Okay, so going back here, turning on intercept, and now checking this, upload. So upload file. Oh, okay. So that's the request. As you can see, the file name has changed to this. And our file has been recognized as an image, judging by the content type. Okay, so the last thing to do is to change the extension. We can use PHP and we're going to forward. Now the file, as you can see, has been uploaded, but now with the extension PHP. To trigger the file, we're going to click on this. And now we get some error here. So we have to use the parameter CMD because this is the parameter we used in the file. Test image. You can change this to whatever you want. Now here we can use ID and we are able to execute system commands. Okay. Now our job here is to expose the password of the next level, which happens to be level 14. So we're going to use the cat command. Cat etc. Natus underscore web pass underscore nat. Uh, sorry, slash natus 14. Now, how do I know this is the path? You can review the previous uh, challenges on my uh, YouTube channel, guys. This is the path where all the passwords are stored. Now, this is the password for natus 14. Now, what we have to do here, we're going to copy that. I have to store it somehow here because I don't want to lose track of the challenges or the progress. So, we're going to say uh, echo. And then I'm going to say natus 14. <laughs> nice test. <laughs> natus 14 pass. Got natus 14 pass. And we have the password stored for the next challenge. Now let's go and test this password. We just changed the 3 to 4. And we can access natus 14. We're going to type the username as natus 14. And the password. This is the pass. Yep. And we got access. So that's the challenge for the next video. It's actually about SQL injection. Uh, so we're going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you liked the content. And I am definitely going to see you later.